Welcome to this podcast for Brighton School of Business and Management students studying for the BTEC Level 7 courses. For this unit you will need to satisfy the criteria exactly as laid down in the assignment brief and as described here, but you should wherever possible use examples from the strategic HR management activity taking place in your own organisation and business sector as well as showing evidence of having studied the unit topics in depth and breadth by referring where appropriate to relevant models, theories and established best practices. To enhance your understanding of these assignment issues, we strongly advise that you also discuss them with senior managers and senior HR and training specialists within your own organisation. Each section should be approximately 375 words, but this is flexible up to around 450 words, not including graphics or illustrations, so you will need to keep your responses focused on what is being specifically asked for in each section. Section 1, Strategic Human Resource Management, supports organisational strategic objectives with the purpose of improving performance, increasing productivity and contributing to the organisation's growth and sustainability. You need to expand on this, giving examples of situations and scenarios where this applies. Bullet point 2. Today organisations need robust and appropriate human resource planning. In your response here you need to describe what methods and mechanisms are used and the purpose of each of these, for example to enhance employees' contribution to improving organisational performance and improving the culture of the organisation. On bullet point 3 you need to describe a range of strategic objectives that a specific organisation, ideally your own, or organisations in a particular sector and again ideally your own, might set, such as for growth, transformation, innovation, diversification and higher profit margins, and referring to your response to the point above, explain how human resource management strategies contribute to the achievement of those specific objectives. Section 2. There is a range of business factors that underpin and support the need for human resource planning, such as those linked to location, labour markets and technological changes. You will need to discuss how these factors influence and impact on the human resource planning activities. Here you will need to focus on a specific organisation, ideally your own, and a specific situation or scenario that the organisation faces, such as the need to relocate or defend against increased competition, or to manage a major new project, and describe how human resource requirements would be assessed and determined for that situation. You should refer to analytical evaluation and development techniques in your response. On bullet point 3, you will need to focus on a specific organisation, ideally your own, and prepare an outline strategic human resources plan for that organisation. You will need to cover at least three years, a suitably strategic period, showing in outline timescales, stages, resources and objectives and outcomes. Finally, referring to the plan that you have developed for the previous bullet point, you will need to critically evaluate that is, describe in detail how that plan will or should contribute to the organisation's achievement of its objectives. One aspect that you must cover here is whether your plan could have included other features that would have enhanced it. Section 3. As well as explaining the more obvious purposes of these policies, you should also discuss the less visible, more subtle purposes, such as those related to, for example, employee welfare, quality management systems and organisational culture. Just as asked, you will need to describe briefly the main legislation and regulations that apply to all organisations, such as those related to working conditions, employee welfare, pay levels, discrimination, employee rights and so on, and then discuss the impact, the constraints or the benefits that these have on the content and intent of human resource policies. Section 4. You should describe briefly the main types of organisational structure and then discuss the impact and influence that each structure has or could have on the way in which human resources are managed. In this response, although it is accepted there is a, a strong overlap, try to avoid discussing culture as this is covered in the next bullet point. Here, describe briefly the main types of organisational culture and then discuss the impact and influence that each culture has or could have on the way in which human resources are managed. 
Note that you will almost certainly need to mention, at least briefly, management and leadership styles within your response. On bullet point three, you should ideally use your own organisation, but you will also need to include examples of established monitoring methods which may not be used in your organisation, and some of which would be or may be relevant for inclusion in your response to the bullet point below, such as internal audits, value assessment surveys, internal benchmarking, feedback from works councils and quality circles, and external benchmarking against individual organisations or sector benchmarks. Finally, following on from the responses to the previous three bullet points, make and justify recommendations that you feel will lead to significant improvement in your selected organisation. Don't forget that you will also need to write a reflective statement and add a list of sources of information and references showing any books, websites, articles, case studies, reports, internal documents and people interviewed that you drew on in order to complete this assignment. The reflective statement and sources of information and references are not included in your word count. Here is a list of websites that you should find useful when completing this assignment. And if you need any further help or assistance with this assignment, please contact your tutor.